The James Webb Space Telescope photos have been rolling in and they've been absolutely incredible. But have you ever wondered where the telescope actually is located in space? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where the James Webb Space Telescope is in our solar system and why it's there. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody, much adventure here today. But first, if you could give this video a like, it really helps the uh, channel out. And also, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so here we are in our solar system. And here's Earth, obviously. Uh, Universe Sandbox, which is the simulator that I'm playing right now. They just released a James Webb Space Telescope update. So this is a perfect time to check it out. But first, let's go over here. And there is the old Hubble Space Telescope. If you guys don't know, Hubble Space Telescope is orbiting the Earth. Um, and that's how it's getting its photos. But the James Webb Space Telescope is a little bit farther out. Now this really has helped me visualize where exactly the James Webb Space Telescope is. Okay, so let's go have a look at where the James Webb Space Telescope is. It's actually 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth or 1 million miles away from the Earth. And it's in a unique uh, location in space called L2, which is the second Lagrange point. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. So there's the moon and we keep zooming out 1 million miles. And there we go, there's the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's zoom in on there. So first of all, I mean, let's have a bigger look at it, right? So there's the Earth, there's the moon, right? You can see how close those two are. And you can see how, you know, how much farther away the, the James Webb Space Telescope is. So let's zoom that out, just to give you more of a perspective on where it actually is um, in our solar system. And this is the crazy thing, is that it's in this place called L2. And it's named after the scientist Joseph Louis Lagrange. He was an 18th century mathematician who found the solution to what's called the three-body problem. And the question that the three-body problem asked was, is there any stable configuration in which three bodies could orbit each other and yet stay in the same position relative to each other? And as it turns out, he found that there's five solutions to this problem and they're called the five Lagrange points. The James Webb Space Telescope is actually not orbiting Earth. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope is orbiting the Sun. But because it's located in L2, one of these unique Lagrange points, what that basically means is, you know, as you see here, if, uh, you know, a body or an object or a planet or whatever is farther away from the Sun, right, in theory, it should take longer to orbit, right? The Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun. But something like out here, right, 1.5 million kilometers away, you know, maybe that takes, I, I don't know the math on it, but maybe it takes, you know, 370 days or 300 and whatever days. So it throws it out of line of the Earth's orbit. But because it's located in this very specific Lagrange point, L2, it's actually the, the gravitational forces of the Sun and the Earth are pulling it along with the Earth so that the entire time it stays right like parallel to the earth so it allows rather than going in and out of sync right and, and losing signal and whatever it's always parallel to the earth so because the james webb space telescope is located in l2 that means that the gravitational pull of the sun and the earth is just enough to keep the satellite in line with the earth the entire time the entire orbit um it's very cool stuff insane mathematics here um and i really love this model of the uh the james webb space telescope that they have here's the sun shield right so, which it's, you know, there's the sun over there. So the sun shield is doing its job. It's very dark on this side. And there's the, uh, you know, there she be. There's the old, the hexagon pattern. It's so cool. Um, the images have been amazing. And I hope you guys have learned something uh, in this video. I hope I, uh, you know, enlightened you on where the James Webb Space Telescope actually is and why it's there. That's it for this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, I'm just going to end this video with some of the James Webb Space Telescope's incredible images so far.